Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name's Suzanne Day and um, I run a charity and a business for stopping domestic violence. And I'm also a healer. And today we're going to um, do a healing and talk about the levels of consciousness. Okay. So I stand in the power of my soul. And I see and act as the creator does. And I am the creator. Rescue and harmonious developments for the world and all beings. And I seal and protect this space with my life shield, which I'm going to activate now. And I'm also protected from evil eyes, evil intent, low vibrational beings and energy. And I also use the numbers 8888 for divine protection. And I now place these numbers right around my auric field. And this healing is done with permission from each soul before it's commenced. And all those who do not wish to take part can simply say no and they'll not receive any energy. Okay, and the information I'm using is from my genome healing course, my Lightworkers Reiki Master Course, my own personal downloads from Source, David R. Hawkins, who has a book called The Map of Consciousness, explained <coughs> okay so here are the seven levels of development by Richard Barrett number one is surviving trying to survive it's health physical fitness nutrition finance financially and stability number two is relationship and it's safety for family, for relationships, it's belonging and it's harmony. And it's also about being liked and it also is about blame, jealousy and revenge. And number three is self-esteem and defeating. And it's security, recognition, positive self-image, self-esteem, self-confidence and it can also show up as arrogance, pride, conceit, superiority, and discrimination. And number four is transformation. And here you're starting to separate. And here we see freedom, autonomy, accountability, adaptability, courage, personal growth, and self-actualizing, intent with coercion. Here we see honesty, trust, creativity, integrity, authenticity, meaning, internal alignment. Number six is making a difference. Integrating. Here we see collab collaboration, empathy, intuition, mentoring, partnerships and allegiances. Number seven is serving, service to others. Here we find compassion, forgiveness, humility, humility, contribution for future generations. So self-compassion, this is what we feel about our own life. And when we use forgiveness and compassion, we operate differently. And we need to let go of all the old beliefs so we open to new beliefs. And we need to accept what is without a make wrong of others. And we need to look within our own consciousness. And we need to look at this as, okay, I need to heal this issue that I have that's in me. We also need to learn to love ourselves, both unhealed and healed parts of us. And we can say to ourselves, I am an infinite being, not subject to this situation. And then we can let it go. We can see it floating off to the creator for transformation. So levels of consciousness, animals, mammals. Many humans operate out of this level of being. And it's 400 on the conscious scale. Number two is love, using the impact of love, love to change the world. We need to care about ourselves and others, also the world itself. Everything we do using love will help to improve the consciousness of ourselves and others. For example, homemade food made with love will have a vibration of 299 
where, whereby machine-made food will have a vibration of 188-200. It has also been found that doing ordinary activities with love will help to raise the consciousness. It holds that much power. And number three, social leadership. Force offers a quick, easy solution, but a great leader inspires others to do better, to become their best and to always keep improving. They are aligned and will use integrity in all that they do. Okay. And leaders that that bring about total transformation without any violence or shots used. Instead, they use vision and inspiration. Okay. And Nelson Mandela, he was 505. Uh, Gandhi was 760. Okay. Number four, realism. Not all beings hold the same values. All those who are at 200 and below on the conscious scale operate at a different level in how they perceive and process information and also how they respond in the world. Those at 200 are motivated by greed, hate, pride and other self-centered goals. These beings are not trustworthy or even teachable at this level. Number five, safeguard. The level of consciousness in the world at the moment is currently in decline. Spiritual alignment with truth will help you to shift the brain chemistry, uh, intellectual sophistication, awareness of the map of consciousness, advancing your own level of spiritual teaching and compassion. And in the map of consciousness, it reveals that the world provides an infinite parama. We play our part by playing our part when we are ourselves and by also serving others. Those in the lower levels of consciousness are not just bad, they're just not very aware. They need love sent to them for them to actually raise in their vibration. So one of the best things you can do is to actually just send love to them. Don't fight with them, just send them love, okay? And 6.92% of all the problems in the world are caused by those beings who are 200 or below. 15% of the population of the world are at the critical conscious level of 200. The only way to enhance one's power in the world is is to increase your integrity, your understanding, and your capacity for compassion. The population of the world needs to be shown this realization for the survival of the human race and the happiness, so they are more secure. Improving your trust of consciousness reduces negativity in the world and it motivates the intention of others to evolve and to upscale too. Real change occurs from within as we own our own inner path via an alignment of the powerful attractive fields such as courage, acceptance, love, generosity, using these tools we can increase our health, our happiness, and be successful, which also increases our level of consciousness and aligning with ourselves. If you use just one powerful truth, we can all make a huge difference in the world and in our own life. And fear is at 100. Love is at 500 on the scale. So put yourself in the energy field of unconditional love, which is 540. This way you will heal others and yourself. And our life is like a feedback loop. At the level of courage, which is 200, a person begins a journey of consciousness and self-empowerment. Once you can face the truth, you can start to get better. 
and you will get help, then move on up the scale. Here, a person requires humility and letting go of denial. And grief is at 75, which usually has to do with your past and being stuck in shock. And you will cry and then regret your loss. And fear is at 100. Here a person is living in worry and anxiety, is in fear of the future and is actually in denial. And anger is at 150. And this has the energy of fear and desire. However, anger can be constructive and it can be a turning point for uh, when you're feeling defeated. And it can also help to create action, so you take an action step. And pride is 175. Here, you move out of hopelessness and you do something about your situation until you reach courage and then you see and feel the truth of your world. Here, you will start to recover and you find solutions to your problems. You also will take action. So now I'd like everyone to visualize all the human race on earth and visualize sending them love energy from our heart space, our heart chakra, and straight into another person's heart space to their heart chakra. And this will help to raise the vibration on earth and it will move love and we can send this out into the world. And the more the vibration and the consciousness raises, the better it is for everyone and the planet. And this way, others will feel our love. And if we do this activity every day and send out love to the world from our heart, we can all make a huge difference. And this is just a simple exercise that you can do to help others and to help them raise and be in the love energy. And we can do this to our community or family, friends, or even to the whole world. Okay, and now the positive affirmation I'd like to use is every day we send love from our heart out into the world for others to feel. And the numbers I'm going to use today are Eternal Light, 6559914, and also the happiness number, which is 287741. And we place that around the earth, around all beings, and we send it out into the universe with both these numbers. And now I would like to cut the cords. So I will cut all cords that have been shared in the healing group. And I use my hands to cut the cords now. And I'm also going to cut the ancestral lineage that was attached on all the timelines. And I see everyone having all their roots ground deeply into Mother Earth. And it's anchored into Mother Earth from our cheek, feet chakras, which I see open. And we're going to bring the Earth energy up through all roots and we fill all entire bodies now to one meter above our heads so we're now all perfectly balanced in spirit heaven matter and earth and all that is within and around us is all transformed to the light that we see shining down on the earth now in all beings and thank you it is done it is done it is done and so it is and if you like this video you can push the like button and you can also subscribe. Thank you.